Welcome back to another episode of My Own Richard Cook. Today we will be making brioche nests for Easter. And we have in front of us all of the ingredients for that. So we have 250 grams here of strong bread flour. We've got three eggs. We've got eight grams of salt, 15 grams of sugar, seven grams of yeast, 35 millilitres of milk, and we have 175 grams of butter. Brioche is delicious and it is the halfway house between bread and cake. It is as simple to make as bread and cake, but the key thing here is to make sure that the butter is incorporated in the correct way. So, if you want to kick off by adding the salt and the sugar into straight into the flour. So straight in. Cool. Next, if you put the yeast into the milk. I put the yeast into the milk. So you just break up the yeast a little bit. There we go. Lovely. That's this mixed now. So the yeasty milk goes into the eggs. Mix all that up together. All right. And then just pour the egg, milk and yeast mix into the flour. And we just gently mix all of the ingredients up and then we will continue to mix so that then the dough starts to knead and go nice and smooth, yeah? yeah. You can see it's now starting to stiffen up. All right. We just need to be a little bit patient with this now. Can you see now how the, the spiral is pulling the mix in and pushing it down, yeah? yeah? And we don't want to over work this because then it will just lose its ability to hold structure. We're going to incorporate the butter. The butter needs to be soft. Yeah, so. Good. Stage speed two, please. Right. Going in nicely. Okay, we're done. Okay, so if you want to lift the mixer out, you can see how nice and smooth the dough is. You can see it's starting to go, which is nice and shiny, glossy. We now need to put it to start ferment, to prove, and at warm, nice warm space, um, room temperature a little bit warmer, but no warmer than 25 degrees. Um, and we need to leave that now for a couple of hours until it's doubled in size, at which point we will then knock it back, turn it in, and then put it into the fridge. We proved and then put our dough into the fridge so that the butter goes firm again. And we've uh, left it in the fridge for at least two or three hours. And you can keep it in the fridge for up to 24 hours. Right, which means then that you can do your dough the day before and you can make your nests the next day. At this stage, we need to work quickly because if it starts to get warm, the butter will go soft again and then we have a problem because it will just, yeah, you've got it. All right. Okay, so cling film off. Good. And you can see already, look, yeah. Can you smell it? Right, lovely. So, divide it into five. One. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. You are good at maths. Possibly. <laughs> Look, we are going to have one piece each. Right, so, a little bit of flour onto that, but not too much. Because otherwise it will change the texture. Absolutely, yeah. So. We're going to divide each of these into three. So, you do what I've just done, please. Oh. And now flatten it. So, divide it into three this way.
spray our moulds. Pick it up and put it sideways in like that. Towards. Yep, so the side upwards. Like that. And if it overlaps, don't worry about it, just overlap it like that. Okay. All right, good. The next thing we're going to do is we just, a little bit of flour, and we're just going to roll it out into a sausage. Minimum flour all the time, and we're looking for sausage at around about 26 or 27 centimetres thereabouts. And then just lay it straight in like that. And again, if there's a bit of overlap, don't worry about it. Good. All right. And now we're going to make a brioche bun. Bun. Right. So we pat it and we bring, turn it over and you fold it like that. So everything on the top goes underneath. And so you make a nice smooth top. So you want to have a look at that. You might need a little bit of flour on the top and on the, like, underneath. And then press it down slightly and then put it into a mould. Right. Stop in the middle. No, that's fine. It'll, it'll settle and yeah. it will fill, yes. And we're now going to leave those to prove warm temperature until they're doubled in size. Again. Again. Cool. There are two stages of egg washing on these. There's a, a stage at the beginning where you put some egg over the top yeah. and not too much. And this will keep the, the top slightly moist, right, and it will help it get bigger without cracking. Right? So literally just a very light coating over the top, yeah? And then we will brush them with egg again just before they go into the oven, yeah, once they've expanded, yeah? And that will just make sure that we get any cracks. But it'll also, egg, double egg washing gives you a, a better finish as well. Right, now we're going to put those on to prove right, until they're doubled in size. Okay, you can see now that our brioche nests and our brioche bun have risen and they are about twice the size. So we're going to repaint them with egg and you can see where the brush is touching actually how soft they've become. That's part of, that's because they've risen and light and fluffy inside. And when we brush, try and avoid keep getting it onto the mold because it'll burn and it'll stick it to the mold. And then on these, we're going to brush them and then we're going to snip right, with a pair of scissors. Right. So if I do this one. Snip. Yep. So if you want to start and paint. Painty paint. Yep. Be gentle with them. They already smell nice in fact. Marvellous. Can I have to go? Yes, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> go on. Like just, just yep. literally snip. Cut, yep. The way to do this now is you then take your scissors and cut that bit and do the other side so that when it opens up, yeah, perfect. And then it will open up in, into a little flower. And then, uh, okay. Super. Right, so let's put this onto a tray. Now I can see, I can see it behind your back. There you go. There's one missing. No, yes, it's in your right hand, yeah. Marvellous. Right, so, can you open the door of the oven for me? Right, we have preset the oven to 180 fan. And we're going to bake them for between 10 and 12 minutes. The brioche have baked, the brioche nests are baked. We've taken them out of the oven and we've left them to cool. And we're just going to take them out of the, the moulds and put them onto a dish which we have in front of us and we're going to eastify them. So you're going to lift them out of the moulds. 
Right. So we've used little Savran molds for these. So you have the choice. You can either do them this way or you can do them that way. But I think they look nicer, this one. That one? Okay. No, You're going to go for this one? Yes, I shall. Marvellous. Yum. And I think you've got room for one more on there. There we go. Right, you're going to Eastify. I think that looks cute. The thing about this is though, it just goes to show how straightforward and easy brioche is to make. It's not difficult at all. And it's his just delicious. Look at that. Do you want to try? It's so nice. Yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs>